Uh, Priscilla Nyokabi is my name. Uh, in the last election I vied for Senate in Nyeri County, but I have uh, been women rep of Nyeri County and also served in the National Gender and Equality Commission and been a very, very keen follower of the implementation of the two-thirds gender rule. And happy that the multisectoral working group is now uh, taking views from uh, different groups and also uh, preparing to give a report on this matter. And our hope is that for one, once and for all, the two-thirds gender rule gets implemented in Kenya. And the two-thirds gender rule is a leadership question. It's leadership for men and leadership for women. And that we get good leaders for the country, be they male or be they female, but in the proportion that is required by the constitution. There are many reasons why women have not been elected. Uh, part of it is uh, gender-based violence and electoral violence, and that should be criminalized in the electoral offenses. Cyberbullying, all of that should be criminalized in the electoral process uh, through the Electoral Offenses Act. But also the other one has been that the formula, uh, the two-thirds formula has just not been implemented, and we are proposing that the formula used for assemblies, county assemblies, be used for the National Assembly and the Senate and even the National Executive. And then there are questions around women's participation in leadership, uh, branding of women candidates, uh, patriarchy, like what we saw with the Governor Kawera's impeachment proceedings. I think that those are some of the measures that we should fight as a society. Religion being misconstrued, women had very good roles in, in, our, in the Bible and also in the Quran. I think that it is important for women leaders uh, to be supported wherever they are. And not just because they are women leaders, but because they can transform, as we are starting to see with some of the women governors. The woman governor in, in Homer Bay County leading the way on transformation. That's what is going to happen when we have more women leaders uh, taking over position. And so the president has already given a memorandum on the two-thirds gender rule. Uh, the speaker of the National Assembly, this law has always failed on political goodwill. We hope that this one time, and because the matter is also in the national dialogue uh, between the president and the former prime minister, that the two-thirds gender rule is implemented once and for all, and the women who vied are given the first consideration uh, to be those that are nominated, so that we can have stronger women leaders joining the assembly. And the reason we start with the national assembly and senate is because when those ones have two-thirds compliance, they can then push the society into two-thirds compliance across all the levels. But even now, we want Kenyans to know when you elect a chairman, Straight away elect a vice chair as, as a woman, opposite gender rule. When you elect a governor who's male, elect a deputy governor who's female. But, but it will take time for some of those measures to gain roots. We fight for them all the time. But then when you come to the floor of the house and the decision-making arenas, whether women win or not, you need women on the decision-making table. So we are said as a first option, women fight for the positions. But where they don't get the positions, as they don't get elected, then the two-thirds gender rule comes in. It is going to be a default mechanism. The first thing, we all fight for the seats. Uh, that Kenyans elect men and women of good quality. But where women are not elected because of patriarchy, money, electoral offenses, many other reasons, then women are nominated to come to the floor of the house because at the point of decision making, you need both genders. This is a country that has been trying to fly on one engine. You need both engines for you to fly the country. And both engines is the engine of men and the engine of women. We are trying with one engine, look at all the problems we now have. Trying to skip with one leg, look at all the problems we have. If you have both genders in leadership, you have a much better country and a more stable country. And even a better society as has been, you know, Rwanda, we can now see examples, we can see Tanzania with Suluhu. So that's what we are saying of the Kenyan society, men and women in leadership. The need has been prompted by the fact that uh, the framework for the implementation of the two-thirds gender principle at the national level has been elusive. We know that uh, since the Supreme Court advisory of 2012, uh, the, the requirement for parliament to put in place the necessary uh, uh, laws that will ensure that at the national level we fully implement the two-thirds gender principle. We all remember the uh, advisory of uh, retired Justice David Maraga that uh, called for the dissolution of parliament for their failure to implement the two-thirds gender principle. And so, once again, we are on the journey to look for that uh, elusive, that, that uh, formula that will ensure that we implement the two-thirds gender principle because as things stand right now, parliament, both the National Assembly and the Senate, are not compliant with the constitution, which means that uh, the threat of dissolution remains alive and let's also not forget that because the not more than two-thirds gender principle is docketed within the Bill of Rights, and the Bill of Rights is an integral part of Kenya's constitution, 
it is it has to be implemented an implementation framework must be in place and so as a nation we cannot run away from this so once again we are here at that point where we must make proposals for consideration by parliament for the implementation of the two-thirds gender principle it's a constitutional requirement the constitution in article 27 8 specifically states that the state shall take uh, the necessary measures to ensure not more than two-thirds of any gender in any elective or appointive body what not more than two-thirds means is that you cannot have more than two-thirds of any gender. So where you have more than two-thirds of any gender, that is a constitutional violation. That's what two-thirds means. Uh, I know that sometimes people think of the two-thirds as one-third, but the, the, the principle is not the one-third principle. It is not more than two-thirds. So anytime you see more than two-thirds, more than 66.6%, .6%, that is a constitutional violation.